I come time again. So this morning I receive an email which uh, I like to respond right now. Okay. So the email is asking me, questioning me, saying that why do I, Hendrik, against and oppose the idea of Wing Chun do not need to be upgraded as soon as one trained in the genuine internal act of Wing Chun and do sparring and be able to do uh, street fighting then they are fine they be able to handle MMA play okay so they ask me why do I oppose this or against it well first I like to address this I do not against I do not oppose anything however as an engineer I like to look at things in a realistic way. We need to know what it is because it is a technical question need to be a technical problem need to be solved. Okay, we need solution for that. So okay. So I'm going to go through the following with you guys. Okay? And whoever had the mindset of who is the best fighter and the grandmaster and guru please stop here and do not watch this video okay number one i'm an engineer i'm not a guru i'm not a grandmaster i'm not the best fighter and uh, i'm not those things okay and i do not interested on that i'm interested in the wing chun technology which is has to be scientific so anybody who want to talk about uh, who is the best fighter, uh, what is the grandmaster say, or those kind of stuff, this video is not for you. Okay, this is for those who want to know technical stuff and want to uh, discuss on technical stuff. Nothing personal. Okay, now let's look at whatever this person asking me why I'm proposing. Number one, genuine internal Wing Chun. Well, it is a good idea. But can anybody show me what is a so-called genuine internal Wing Chun in past 500 years? Since General Chi Chi Guang time, we know today we can have all those data and records to read and to track. Can anybody show me what is the definitions of internal Wing Chun? And can anybody show me who have developed this thing in past 500 years? Okay. There's this so-called internal Wing Chun, meaning that you practice Xiu Lin Tao in the internal way or whatever way. Disregard of anything. Show me in details, in writing, like we can track from Genesis Chi Ji Guang 1650 down to today. Almost every 100 years we have a document we can trace and we have people we know by name who have what. Until then, as a design architect or engineer, I'm not going to accept something like that. Because it doesn't say anything. Okay? Number two. Saying that uh, ex uh, uh, doing some sparring after having this training of the internal Wing Chun and then uh, do some street fight, then uh, one can handle the MMA play and so forth. Is it the reality? First of all, what is the definition of so-called internal Wing Chun stuff? Okay. The second of all is sparring based on internal Wing Chun, street fighting, be able to handle MMA. Let's go back to 500 years ago. 
500 years ago, the time before Jaina Chi Chi Guang. There are plenty of traditional Chinese martial art gurus or grandmasters at that time. And ask a question. Okay, they are very good, they have fight, uh, street fighting and everything. Ask the question, why is that none can handle the Japanese pirates' invasion by history? Why is General Chi Chi Kwang has to reform the whole thing, reorganize the whole thing, and only then he can chase those people out? with a high efficiency and high effectiveness. In the history, by the history, if you compare the capability of a single Japanese pirate at that time versus the, 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 the Ming Dynasty army, it is way off. Okay? Way well trained. So, that is what happened 500 years ago. Now, Let's come back to today. April 27, 2017. The Tai Chi master get killed by the MMA player in China. Okay? And then it followed. You can see like even the Bakua player, a Sifu get uh, you know lost to the, the, the MMA player. And then you can see different type of people, you know, in YouTube, all this thing. Since then, it's been slow, uh, snowballing there. Now, go watch all this YouTube, including the April 27, 2017 one. Okay? As I present before in my YouTube, the fighting zone or momentum zone, there are four of them today. And actually, if you based on general Chi Chi Kwang, you can we can actually simplify or make it clear that this is a four zone. The first is a long fist zone. The second is a short strike zone. The third one is the takedown zone. The fourth is the groundwork zone. You look at the internal art people. April twenty seven, and the Pagua. Uh, 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 teacher, have they ever passed the MMA's long strike, uh, long fist zone fighting? Look at the 20, uh, April 27 uh, 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 KO of the Tai Chi Grandmaster. It's in this zone. Look at the uh, Bagua loss to the MMA is in this zone okay in this zone so realistically the admin play player have four zones this zone this zone takedown zone and ground zone all the internal up to today couldn't even pass the first zone didn't they didn't that show you that it repeat again what the heck going on 500 years ago in the time of General Chi Chi Kuang? So look at reality. As for is the street fighter uh, can take care of uh, this, uh, this uh, MMA player? The MMA player today it's like the training of General Chi Chi Kuang, Special Force. He has 3,000 of them. Just go read history. Okay? Those are Special Force. And they have those type of training. You want to mess around with that? Even the Japanese pirate at that time cannot handle this 3,000. Okay? The Japanese pirate outnumber them but lost. So, Today's MMA, we like it or not, face the reality. They have four zones of training. They have a systematic scientific way of training. 
That's what reality is. Okay? Now, speaking of synergies, Wing Chun is traditional Chinese martial art. It beginning with the general Qi Qi Gong categorizations and uh, this core and uh, following the Chinese uh, martial art uh, uh, tradition. The core is momentum handling. Be it in Sun Tzu or in uh, general Qi Qi Gong writing, it's about momentum. In momentum handling, there are two parts. The first part is be able to see the trend. The second part is be able to prescribe a solution to get in and play. These two parts. That is the details of the study of momentum according to the uh, ancient uh, traditional Chinese martial art and a court will general Qi Qi Guang. Okay? So, two parts. One is be able to see the trend of momentum. The second is be able to prescribe a uh, getting in, entering, and then play. Okay? Now, people like Bruce Lee, who is a born talented, well, they don't have to learn it. People like me, who have, who, who have no clue, have uh, no, no genes in athletics, then I have to learn this thing by heart, right? I have to know, oh, I have to know how to, to observe this, uh, the, the, the trend of the momentum I'm facing, and I know how to get in and play and so forth. That's me, okay, Bruce Lee don't have to learn that. But wait a minute, you look at Bruce Lee, look at all his notes. I think he, he even learned, his, you know, I don't want to use the thing, I think, you look based on his notebook, you can see. He studied a lot of things in details, different kind of martial arts. So even though it is not categorized like general Qi Qi Guang, or you need to know the trend, and then you need to prescribe a, 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 a know the solutions of entry, and then play. Bruce have those. Read his book. It's not techniques. It is about momentum. The change, momentum is about change of physical. And one has to be able to predict the trend. And then be able to, 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 to implement a solution in. Okay? So that's basic on momentum handling. Now, as in general Qi Qi Guang, as in today, there are four zones of momentum play. The long fist play, the short strike play, the takedown play, the ground play. Okay? Now, Wing Chun is a sticking body short strike. We like it or not, that's the definition, meaning that is killing field is here. Okay? If you look at like a Chinese martial art, like Charlie Fat, this long fist, the killing field is in this range. Okay? So in other words that their specialty is not saying that they don't know the four zone, their specialty their killing field, their expertise, what is it? Okay. So in the long, long fist range, the long fist up and the short strike up, close body short strike up. There are different ways of solution once they know the tendency of the incoming momentum. And for example, the long fist might just go play here. Rotating from alternating from the 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 in the uh, the, uh, the, 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 the center door, side door, 
and all kinds of stuff. Okay? That is their specialty. Wing Chun, according to ancient, is to get in. To get in. To play in. To play in. That is the Wing Chun specialty. So, or we can call it the Wing Chun solution. Say, at this far away, we can call, for example, the Choi Lei Fat solutions, because they are good at this, this, this long fist area, and the Wing Chun is the short strike solution. It is a technological solution. Okay? So over here, I, again, I say, I don't say any who is good, uh, Choi Lei Fat is better, or Wing Chun is better, I don't say that. I say that this is different type of technology. When they, they sense a trend of the momentum from the opponent, they prescribe their solution, implement their solution, get into the, the, uh, the, the, the play and their killing field differently because they are different type of art, different type of solutions. Now, in here, we need to watch out because of this different type of art, their handling of momentum is different, thereby their mechanic is different. So their jin, if you want to use that mysterious term jin, is just simply a flexible use of strength or force. Okay? Their, their training, their, their training and the skill is supported by different mechanics of using force. The long, the long face guy and the short strike guy, their mechanic is different. Now, is that so simple? I want to train some kinds of internal uh, wind tune or maybe do a set with uh, all this chi power, mind power, everything. Can you solve anything at all? Or just go do some sparring? While your opponent clearly know the four zone, clearly know what type of uh, mechanic I need if I going to fight in this, this long fist, this short strike, or take down, or ground work. The techniques, the mechanics come in on supporting the momentum they want to, to use. Can a simple, a, a simple uh, 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 idea called study the internal Wing Chun and then doing some sparring and uh, uh, some street fighting can resolve this issue? It's like a villager. Fine, if you're a talented fighter, but can you handle the special force sent by the emperor down to the to village? And where they know exactly what they're going to do. Okay? Look at the Olympic trainer. Look at the Western boxing trainer. Look at the MMA player. They have all this training. And look at the General Chi Chi Guang's riding and the 1784, the short strike riding which is precede Wing Chun Pin, which is uh, well, later spin off. Uh, Wing Chun Pin is a spin off from that. Look at those things. What is internal? What is sparring? Is it internal or sparring or it is a detailed play of technical with a really skillful and uh, uh, fully conditions? In today's world, professional training. And like for example, people saying that, oh you know, uh, why do you do this silly thing of the set lower four balls? Do you know that, and I'm sure that a lot of, uh, I'm sure that our MMA friend knows, 
Head down is not just shoot in. Head down can be performed in this close and going down. If the lower forward is not agile enough or lively enough, you keep doing EG coming out this way and you get this muscle memory program this way, become a heavy. This is not going to help, okay? Not to mention, do you know why this leg exists? If this is not for this, why is this leg exist? For fun? Why is that design exist? If it's not to be able to agile play. So, this is the reality of traditional Chinese martial arts. There's no internal art. At least nobody showed me one evidence and I have never seen any evidence since the other Chi Chi Guang time down to today have any internal art which can solve all this issue, this momentum issue I just presented, which is based on not me, based on this describe of uh, uh, General Chi Chi Guang's writing and the 1784 writing in today's language. Okay? So, to answer everybody again, do I oppose or against anything? Or I present you saying that, hey, wake up, man. Also, did General Chi Chi Kuang evolve, evolve, upgrade, update? Even you look at his writing, the book, he revised it. Okay? That is the reality of Chinese martial arts, traditional Chinese martial arts. It never exists in this some internal magic. In past 500 years, radar screen, it never exists. In past 100 years, it never exists. Even for today, as what I'm saying, go watch YouTube on the, the, the recent uh, fight of the M Chinese MM player with the Taiji player, with the Bagua player, all these internal people have and how many of them pass through this range, this range. As we know, the April 27, 2017, Chinese MMA KO of the Tai Chi Master is in this range. Just the first range, the first zone of momentum. It didn't get into the close range, clinching, those kind of things. It doesn't get even to the, to the takedown, it doesn't get down to the pinning. So, this is what it is. Again, I'm not saying that I'm a grandmaster, I'm a fighter, and blah 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 blah. I'm not interested in that. I'm interested in technology. And seriously, if one do not know this technology, one do not know the beauty of martial arts. If you know this technology, it's like the people who study different type of technology in Silicon Valley. They know the details. They say, oh my god, brilliant. Oh my god, this is good. You respect other martial artists, be it MMA player, Twilight player, Honga player, Tai Chi player, or any player. If he is good, you know that technical solution is brilliant. The same thing in additions. Wing Chun is this sticking body short strike. Wing Chun can get in from this, or get in from this, or get in from this, all different things. And the mechanics, as we know, is pouring. You want to import Tai Chi inside there with the, those mechanics? Hello sir, how is that applicable? Those kind of farging and everything applicable in this, in this get in, in for this solution, for this solution. How, how is it applicable? Are you suggesting putting a, a firing engine in your motorcycle? Or, in other words, put a truck engine in your, in your Ferrari?
So, there is a reality. And this particular person who emailed me saying that I need to stand on my feet. Okay? Not just talk theory. Well, my answer is this. If I don't stand on my feet, can I describe to you all details here? And can you see all this thing? Since you know, you, you claim that you stand on your feet. I don't claim I'm the best fighter and everything. But I open up, present this details to you. Okay? So, the bottom line is, there is no myth in Chinese martial arts. And when the MMA have a good training, admit that. Admit that other people have a better technology. By admitting that is not putting down oneself. In admitting that meaning one be able to evolve. General Chi Chi Guang 500 years ago know the Japanese samurai sword handling or the art of samurai sword is much better than the Chinese martial arts sword play at the time. If this is not the case, why did he evolve his sword? Physically, why he compose a new set of how to use the, uh, the, the sword for his special force. That's history. So this is uh, for you today. I hope thing can be, and actually my goal is thing can be uh, discussed in terms of technical instead of before anything and get right away, you know, go attack people and so forth. And you go nowhere at all, solve nothing. And you know what? If Chi Jena Chi Chi Kong do that, then you wait for obsolete. So this is for you today.